Hey guys! Um, so here's my inspiration for today's tutorial. It was my tree, and these are the colors that I picked. Um, festive green, holly green, cherry red, buttermilk, crystal green, glorious gold, and garnet. Now the garnet is a folk art paint, but everything else is from Deco Art. And these are the particular tools that I will be using. So starting off with the uh, darkest red paint, I'm going to use my orange tip tool. And you really want to get the whole base of the tool covered. And if there's a little drop of paint on there, just leave it on there. You're going to go straight up and down. And I just mark the center of my canvas with a ruler, just kind of to show you that you don't have to have um, guidelines. This is completely um, just, just eyeballing it here. But if you um, need guidelines, that's perfectly fine too. And you can even find uh, guideline stencils in my Etsy shop. This is my largest nail stylus tool, which I call a size five. And I'm just gonna put like a crisscross of dots around the center dot there. And then I'm gonna go right in between each of those. You wanna get your ball good and covered. And that'll, that'll make a nice uniform dot for you. And then right in between each of those, I'm gonna put another dot. That's a total of 16 dots around the center dot. And for the next row of dots, I'm going to use the buttermilk. And I'm using my white tipped tool for that. Now, if you need the sizes of any of my tools, you are welcome to go and visit my Etsy shop where I have them all listed um, in order with the colors, just for anyone that doesn't have. Uh, my particular set of tools so you can still follow along and the same thing there we're just offsetting the dots for the second row this is a beautiful gold I love from deco art and this is my blue tipped tool and again you just really want to get that base good and completely coated and I like to do the crisscross first just for spatial reasons it just kind of helps me to see where I may need to, you know, slide over a little bit or so. And then one in between, so there's 16 total around the, uh, the next row. Now this is the lighter green color, and as a matter of fact, this is the only time I use it, so if you want to skip that one completely, that's up to you. And you do want to make it your own, and just, you know, whatever colors suit you, or or whatever colors you're drawn to. This is just what I went with here. Um, this is my light green tool and I'm going to put um, the darker green color. I'm just going to do eight dots. So do a crisscross and then do one in between each of those. And those are going to be the base of our petals. So now we're going to work on petals. And this is the buttermilk color. My dark blue tool and I'm just going to put one dot on the very outer edge the very outer tip of that um, that large green dot there I'm going to do the same thing all the way around and then going to use my largest nail stylus and I'm going to go ahead and dot all the way down to the base so you want to dip your tool and just start dotting Get as close as you can, dot all the way down to the base on one side, re-dip your tool in the paint, and then go ahead and start on the next side and dot it all the way down to the base. And then you always want to refill your tool. So for one full, you know, dot all the way down one side, you want to re-dip it for the other side, okay? And I'm just going to do this to each one of these. And I did just want to point out that um, it's good to clean your tool after, you know, so many, um, so many goes at it because the paint can start to dry slightly and it just starts to develop, um, you know, thicker, like a ring around your, your nail stylus and it can make for sloppy dots. So 
do go ahead and clean your tool after a few goes, and then you can just re-dip and resume, just like normal. Okay, this is my light purple tool, and I'm going to go directly out from that largest white dot there, so right on the outer edge, and that's with that same initial center dot color, that's the dark red. And just do that all the way around. And I like to just kind of turn my whole canvas, you know, and just look at the, the dot on the opposite side just to help you line them up. And this is my um, white tool. And I'm not lining up the dots with any other particular dots. I'm just squeezing them as close as I can get next to the, the large white dot and, and the large uh, red dot. I know a lot of people um, try to line them up with the previous row, and it's not necessarily um, the way I do it, at least. I just kind of just squeeze them in as close as they can go, and then they just kind of line themselves up however they, however they do. So it's not necessarily offset, and it's not necessarily next to them. It's just as close to the previous dot as possible. I hope that makes sense. And that was with the, uh, the largest nail stylus. Okay, this is my dark purple tool going with the gold color. That same gold color that we have a ring of in the middle there. It's a metallic paint and it's absolutely beautiful and shimmers when it dries. Again, I'm just kind of lining it up with the corners and the previous dots. And then this is my dark blue tool. I'm going to put a dot right next to the large gold dot. And do that to each of the, uh, the pebbles there. And this is my white tool. Same thing right next to those. And then I will grab the largest stylus and dot all the way down to the base. Now basically what I'm going to do here in this video is the same steps over and over and I'm just going to put the next row right in between each of these petals. So I'm going to start the base of the petal right in between the little gold bridges there, which is what I call them. Um, and then so basically the same, the same tools. So the light green tool for the dark green paint there is the base. Just put it down as far as you are comfortable going down in between those, uh, those little golden bridges there. And then the dark blue tool with the buttermilk um, cream color paint. I didn't uh, think it was appropriate to use the bright white so I went with the buttermilk which was just a real um, rich and warm color and I thought it was very classic Christmas color so you'll have to pardon the noise if you hear cars on the street I live pretty close to the road so and the kids are probably in the background <laughs> in some of these parts here but all right moving on it's the light purple tool and it was with the uh, the dark red there and then the white, and then it'll be the size 5 nail stylus. And you can't go as far down, obviously, because um, we're a lot closer to the petals than we were to the initial base. So and don't worry about that. Just fit in as many as you are comfortable in fitting in. Don't, you don't have to you know, squeeze an extra one in there. Just leave it. That's fine. You can, you can have a little bit of a gap there. That's no biggie. And then lastly, the gold. And that is the dark purple tool. And I'm just kind of lining it up with the, the, previous, uh, the previous row of dots. Um, and this is my white tool and the size 5.
and you just want to get, I don't know, about three or four, and some of them maybe five if you're slightly off, it's, it's no big deal. Um, and then again, same thing, same tools with the next row of petals. And then I do just kind of skim through this so you can just get the gist of um, what I'm doing here. And then you can pause this at any time. Feel free to pause the video and go ahead and catch up on your own. So going with the buttermilk, that's the first layer of the petal. And now this one will, um, you'll have a lot more to uh, dot all the way down to the base because it's kind of sticking out there. So the overall effect of this, I think it's really, really beautiful um, just to kind of keep the pattern because I initially had broken up the colors and the pattern a little bit. Um, but I didn't necessarily like the way that um, that it looked. But I mean, it wasn't it wasn't terrible. But I just decided to stick with the pattern of uh, dark green and then buttermilk and then red and then gold, and it turned out really pretty. And lastly, the gold. And so it was the dark blue and then the white tools. And now the stylus. Just dot all the way down, hugging the rest of that petal. Go all the way down to the base, or until your tool runs out of paint. <laughs> Mine got pretty close to the base, so I went with it. I roll with it. Just roll with it, baby. <laughs> okay, so for the next row, I make them just slightly larger. So I used my yellow tool for the main base dot. And now this is the light purple tool to start off the first row. And that's following up with um, the dark blue tool. And next to that, I'm gonna go with the little white tool. And then I'll use my stylus to dot all the way down as far as I can go on either side there. And this is my dark purple tool for the next row of dots on the petal. So I'm going to stick with the same color scheme there. Um, the same colors, just going to switch up the sizes just slightly, slightly larger. And that is my dark blue tool. Putting a dot right next to each of the um, red, large red dots. And then this is the white tool, and then now the stylus. And I know, like I said, I know this is kind of speeding through, but just pause the video, go ahead and do your whole row. All right, this is my golden tipped tool. And I'm gonna dip it in the gold paint and put my main first dot out there. That's the light purple tool for the next dots. The dark blue tool for the next set. The white tool and then will be the largest nail stylus. And if they're a little wonky, you know, that's okay. <laughs> Give yourself a break. There, I'm 
tapping and thinking what to do next. I didn't realize that I did that until I started recording myself and putting out tutorials. I I do it in almost every one of the tutorials. <laughs> there, I had my daughter out there with me, my youngest, and she was kind of helping me figure out what I was going to do next. But Okay, so I just put um, some larger gold dots right in between each of those uh, outer petals. And now I've switched to the red metallic paint. Now it's a little on the pinkish side, but it was the reddest one that I could find. My Deco Art Metallic Red was just a little too pink for me, so I went with this, and it's called um, Garnet, I believe. And I'm just dotting the main red dots there, the, the largest red dots. And then here is the green metallic paint, and I'm just going to put a top dot on all the large green dots. And this really just made everything pop and shimmer and shine and it just turned out beautifully. And then I felt like it, I wanted to have something in the corners and I'm not one to really do much in the corners, but this one I felt needed just something a little bit. So I take my large tool and I'll show you this again, but I take my large yellow tool and I get a lot of paint on it and then I stick it down and kind of smear it up and back and then side to side so it's like a little T or like a little cloud and then I swirled out the center and then you use the blue tool to get a few dots and then you walk some dots out here and I'll, I'll show you again in just a second here so get the larger yellow tool and get plenty of paint on there go ahead and swirl it back and forth and side to side and then I swirl out the center with my nail stylus. I'll fix the edge there. And then take the dark blue tool and make two dots and then one in the middle between those. And then take the size five nail stylus or the largest nail stylus. And then I walk about five dots out and I start to curve it right at about the fourth. So the fourth and fifth dot, I give it just a slight little curve towards the center but I mean again you can do these edges however you want I just wanted to fill in the edges with a little something they needed a little bit of something I thought so and I love the gold who doesn't love gold again yellow tool swirl out the center blue tool three dots, and then dot it out. You can find my tools and my stencils in my Etsy shop if you are interested. There is a clickable link in this video's description below on how you can find my shop. And there it is all together. Hey, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.